So approvals. Um, when I'm back at my request types, um, request new software, someone actually going to ask for this. This is linked to a purchase issue type. So there's going to be an approval process here to say yes or no, you can have that. So what I can do, I can do two things. I'm going to go in. This is my custom fields for that request type, if you remember. I'm going to add um, a custom field called approvers. And that's just a custom field called approvers that is a, a user picker. So it's going to pick people that I've got listed in my, in my JIRA. I'm going to add it onto there. That's stage one of what I'm going to do. The second thing is, if I go down and actually look at my purchase workflow, this is the workflow that comes in um, when people uh, say, I want new software. It says, waiting for approval. It sits in that state. What I can do is, if I edit this workflow, on the state itself, sorry, I just put my password in. On the state itself, I've now got the option to add an approval. And what that does is, it says, get approvers from, and this is the custom fields we're talking about, that approvers custom field I just put on the, the portal, on the request type. I'm going to say that one. Consider it approved after all the approvals are met. I could maybe say after two of the three, or you know, two or five people, if I name five people. That's, I need two people to approve it. I'll just do all for now. And this is the important part. When the transition that is approved, when the request is approved, do the approved transition. And when it's declined, do the declined transition. And these are my two transitions here. So it's saying, when it's going to sit here, when the person says, yeah, it's approved, I want you to fire this transition. And when it's uh, declined, fire this one, which will take it through to declined. Dead easy. This is dead, like a really simple setup. You could use the same logic for any other kind of approval you can think of. So I've just published that. So what does that actually mean at the front end? Well, when I come in here and I want to uh, request new software, I want HipChat, for example. Um, I'm going to name my approver. Now, I can either name it here because I've said it. I can pre-populate this field. Remember when we were setting up our request types? You can pre-populate fields and hide them. I can set up my approvers for certain request types already so the person doesn't even get a chance to pick who it is. So you can kind of enforce your business process really, really easily. I'm going to put myself as the approver here, which uh, is obviously kind of not really the points, but just to show you. I know, it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's been approved. Who by? doesn't matter. Um, and what that does is, if I just create my ticket, oh, there we go. You'll see that I can now actually see my approvals, the approvals that are assigned to me from here as well. So I can actually go in and whether I approve or decline this. So if you've got someone who's an approver further up the chain, they don't even need to know about Jira. They can go to your nice fancy portal and they can approve or decline it from there and add comments. They don't need to go into the back end of Jira and start transitioning things in the manual way. I'm just going to approve this and you'll see that it's automatically now gone to the next stage. So I just clicked approved, and now it's gone to my next stage, waiting for implementation. That's great, because when the person's opened it, me as a service desk agent, I haven't actually had to touch this yet. I don't have to look at this until the powers that be have approved it. So it's really good. It just means that you can kind of focus on the stuff that is important, and then your queue, to do queue, whatever that might be, is say, give me everything that's awaiting implementation. This has been approved, and now it needs to get, actually get done, so I can do it from there. It's a really good way of sort of just tightening up processes so you don't have to chase people and find out you know, who should be approving this. Put the onus back on the customer to do it themselves.